This video is to explain how the Gauss gun works and follows on from the video showing how the arrangement of the balls is set up and the end result. I suggest you watch that before watching this. The important thing to notice is the arrangement of the ball bearings on the magnets before and after the ball on the right is released. If we go into close you can see that before there are two balls on the left hand side of the magnet and afterwards there is a ball on either side. Now what that means is that magnetic potential energy needs to be considered. Because of the distance away from the magnet, the field strength is going to be weaker as you move away from the magnet, meaning that similarly to gravitational potential energy, as you go closer to the magnet, the magnetic potential energy is going to become more negative. So the system on the right, the magnetic potential energy is more negative than the system on the left. Let's have a look at the graph to try and understand that better. Here's the magnet in the middle and I've made it symmetrical and put two balls on either side of the magnet. If you are close to the magnet, the magnetic potential energy is more negative because you've fallen deeper into the magnetic field. The field has got stronger. Very similar to if you were to approach a planet, your gravitational potential energy would become more negative. If you are further away from the magnet, the magnetic potential energy is going to be less negative. Here's the system at the beginning. I've got a ball that's arriving to the right hand side of the magnet and because it's a long way away its magnetic potential energy is nearly zero. And here are the two balls already attached to the magnet on the left hand side. I've got one here which is close so it's got a very negative magnetic potential energy and this one here is further away so the magnetic potential energy is not as negative. So the total magnetic potential energy of the system at the beginning is going to be minus MPE1 plus minus MPE2. Now let's see what happens after the ball has arrived at the surface of the magnet. This ball has now fallen into the magnetic field and as it's now got its own magnetic potential energy because it's arrived at the surface. It's going to have minus MPE2, the same as the ball that's in the position that's symmetrical on the other side. Meaning now that the total magnetic potential energy of the system has become more negative. And because it's more negative, some energy must have been transferred from the magnetic store. And that means that the kinetic energy of the incoming ball has increased. It's got faster as it approached the magnet. And then by collision and transferring kinetic energy from the ball on the right to the ball on the left hand side here, this ball here will now have kinetic energy and be ready to try and move away from the system on the left. It's worth noting that the magnetic potential energy of the system is now minus MPE1 from this ball here and then an MPE2 from both of these balls so I need to have minus MPE1 minus 2 MPE2 and that's how you can see the energy of the system has become more negative. So now let's consider what happens as that left hand ball leaves the magnet as the kinetic energy reduces as it moves away from the magnet until we get to this point where it's um, out of the influence of the magnetic field. That leaves just these two ball bearings attached to the magnet, so these are the only two we need to consider now about their magnetic potential energy. And we have each of them now with minus MPE2. So the um, magnetic potential energy of the system is both of those balls attached to the magnet here as minus 2 MPE2. It's worth noting now that the ball leaving to the left here has meant that the magnetic potential energy of the system has become less negative. However, these two balls attached to the magnet leaves the final system with a magnetic potential energy that is more negative than it was at the start with the two balls on the left hand side of the magnet. That means we can calculate how much kinetic energy this ball as it leaves has got by working out what the initial magnetic potential energy was and subtracting off the final magnetic potential energy. At the beginning this was the 
the left hand ball, this was the right hand ball on the left hand side of the magnet. We subtract off the final system which has got the two balls close in, minus 2 MPET, which means that the ball here will leave with kinetic energy equal to the magnetic potential energy of when it was close minus the magnetic potential energy of when it was attached at the second ball to the system. The last thing we need to consider is the fact that there are four magnets, each of those starting with the two balls to the left of the magnet and ending up with one ball either side, which means each of the magnets will contribute to increasing the kinetic energy of the ball system as it arrives towards the left, meaning that it leaves here with a kinetic energy contributed from each of these four magnets. An extension question is to consider how fast will the ball bearing leave the left hand side of the four magnets? And you can ask that by saying if the one on the after the first magnet, the ball moves across here with a speed v, how fast will the fourth magnet left hand ball come off the end of the uh, gun? But I'll leave you to consider that and answer that for yourselves. Thank you.